may be red. That's right. Five reasons they may be red and five things you can do to fix all of that. Here we go. So fixing your bloodshot eyes. Around the holidays, you're doing a lot of things. Uh, certain things have been legalized. Maybe you're doing that. I don't know. But your eyes may be red. You don't want folks getting the wrong idea, right? All right. Let's try to treat that, all right? First reason why your eyes may be bloodshot, allergies. Dude, what are you doing with this cat? You know you're allergic to cats. Okay, the first thing you may want to do if you have uh, bloodshot eyes because of allergies is actually take a cold compress and put it over your eyes for about 15 minutes at a time, several times during the course of a day. That'll help to kind of relieve all of that that's happening with your eyes. Also, if it continues to get worse, your doctor may give you antihistamines, and that may help the problem. But that could also trigger another problem. That takes us to number two. Because certain medications will make your eyes bloodshot. Those antihistamines I just told you about, that'll do it. Sleeping pills, that'll do it as well. So the question is, do you continue to take those? And if you do and they continue to make your eyes red, go talk to your doctor, see about getting a different prescription or taking different medication to stop that particular thing from happening. Because that's not going to stop as long as you're taking that medication. Number three, <laughs> the obvious reason, uh, you had a little too much. You were overserved, as my friends would like to say. So you had a little too much to drink. Alcohol has an effect on your blood vessels in your eyes, and that makes your eyes red. So what can you do to get rid of that? Here is where your good old-fashioned trusty eye drops come into play. Visine will take care of that in about 10 to 15 minutes to get rid of all that color. Number four, ah, being around smokers, either being a smoker or being in a room with a lot of smokers. Or maybe you're at a bar or a club, even though a lot of them don't allow it anymore, some of them still do allow smoking inside. And if you're in that environment for a long time, that's really going to wreak havoc on your eyes and the blood vessels inside your eyes. That's going to make it really, really red. Then. When that happens, your body senses that. It goes into the mode of trying to protect your eyes, and that makes them even redder. So in that situation, you also can use Visine. That'll help big time, but another thing to do is, of course, get out of that room, get some fresh air, and the natural fresh air may help your eyes to uh, go back to their normal color. And the last thing, wait a minute, what? Eye drops? Yeah, the very thing that I said that you should take to get rid of the uh, red eyes is going to cause red eyes, too. Because if you're doing this too much, well, your body always reacts to something, and once they get used to it, your body will stop to react. So if you're using eye drops too often, it's not going to affect your eyes anymore. Or if you're using them too much, it has the opposite effect. Now it's making your eyes more red than they were. So once again, get off of that. Maybe don't take it for a couple of days to give your eyes a chance to adjust, and then go back to using the eye drops if you really, really need them. You have those eye drops or those uh, tears that you can, uh, artificial tears that you can use to help keep your eyes nice and moist. There's a lot coming your way in the winter months. Make sure you keep your eyes nice and clear, and the whites of your eyes, always white. To find out more about how you can make sure you uh, don't get bloodshot eyes and how to fix them, go to gooddaysacramento.com. Click on Show Info for today's date. And man up, not looking tired and sleepy all the time. Coming up later on today, you know we're talking sports. For the show we do from uh, 12 to 3 on Sports 1140 KHTK, it's called The Lowdown. The Lowdown! With me, Ken Rudolph, Damian Barling, and Jason Ross. Coming up later on today, we're going to be talking with the brand new football coach of the UC Davis Aggies program. Coach Dan Hawkins is going to be on the lowdown later on today. Good day continues right after the break.